If you're new to Cinema 4D, things can get overwhelming real fast, particularly when determining optimal render settings. Hi, I'm Glenn with Video Trinkets, and in this video, I'll show you my go-to Redshift render settings that I use for my projects. Head over to Render Settings, or press Ctrl or Command B. From the Render option, select the drop-down menu and change it from Standard to Redshift. Click Redshift. Verify that progress passes is set to 1024. Make sure global illumination has a check mark. Twirl down the noising option and click on the check mark box. Click Altus Dual option. Next, click on Advanced Mode. Click on Global Illumination. And make sure Global Illumination is checked. Verify that the primary GI engine is set to brute force. Set the trace depth to 8 and that the secondary engine is set to irradiance point cloud and set the brute force raise to 512. Make sure conserve reflection energy is checked. Let's also double check the sampling tab. Twirl down denoising option. It should be enabled. Make sure denoising AOVs and the automatically create AOVs are checked. This redshift render settings have been my go-to render options for my compositions. Hopefully it works for you. This is Glenn with Video Trinkets. Thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.